Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I hope you like my new voice. So someone in the comment section of my last video requested me to use my real voice during the review so I just sped up the video so it does not get too long and you know to keep it as short as possible clear and on point just didn't want to take a few more minutes pointlessly from everyone's life so with this out of the way let's get started <laughs> Okay guys, so let's start up by talking a bit about the booting up speed. I can tell you that in the beginning, after I installed all the apps and updates from Windows, it actually was booting up in 10 seconds, but now after I uh, installed all these games, it got a bit higher. As you can see, currently it boots up in about 12 seconds. And the shutting down speed takes two to three seconds at most. So let's continue with the storage speed. For this I have used an application called Crystal Listmark. As I mentioned in my previous video this uh, is a SATA 3 type of SSD so you can't expect speeds as good as an, for an NVMe type of SSD. Still I think the speeds are quite uh, decent. I'll let you see the results on your own. It's important to note that M2 SSDs which utilize the SATA interface aren't really faster than the standard 2.5 drives. Uh, they just take up less space and look cleaner. If you want faster speeds, you'll have to make sure your M2 drive is utilizing NVMe interface protocol. Of course, I couldn't have overlooked uh, Cinebench test speed. So as you know, this laptop has an Intel Core i5 processor 7th gen, which is not quite the newest, and has a 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. And of course, the chipset is backed up by the Intel Iris 650. But even though it's just the 7th gen, so it's a pretty old generation for today's standards, I was impressed with the results from the Cinebench uh, score. A few days ago I have watched a video from Short Circuit, shout out to him, and go watch his video. Um, about an HP NV14. So why I'm saying I'm impressed is because this laptop actually scored better than an HP NV14 in this benchmark. Uh, even though that HP looks great and um, you know has the latest 11th gen Intel processor, which is amazing. I'll post screenshots with both the results from HP NV14 review from Short Circuit and also from my own. And again, guys, Short Circuit does a very good job, so please feel free to go and watch his videos and subscribe to his channel if you find his videos interesting. Okay guys, so let's open some applications. I don't have too many of them, even though if you can see, 
I downloaded a few games for you to test later. But yeah, let's see at least on, for example, if we take an office uh, work, how is it gonna end up? If it's laggy or not. Okay, let's open a blank document. Seems it takes a bit to load, but let's see how it works. Let's make it a bit bigger so everyone can see. I guess it, it, it looks very good. I don't feel any lag or anything of the sort. Let's try now um, maybe an Excel. I'm opening the applications over also so, you know, it's a bit more visible on how much time or how long it takes to load even in multi-application situations. Let's see. Let's write something just for the sake of it, H. Yep, no leg. Everything is smooth. Okay, guys, so now if we already have the browser open anyway, let's uh, browse a bit. Let's open a Facebook. Okay, let's open Instagram. Let's see. Okay, you can browse, it loads very fast. Don't see any issues here. Okay, now let's go on YouTube. And the usual test 4k 60 frames per second video yep this one we can check the volume and the sound also It is so smooth. Doesn't like at all. I don't see any problem with the loading. So what do you think guys? The maximum brightness I wanted to set. Okay, I guess it's enough for this one. Okay, let's find one 8K that is seriously 8K. Hmm, I think this one. Let's see. Yep, 8K.
and it loads perfectly, I don't see any issue, it's very very smooth. And the image is so crisp, <laughs> can't believe it. I think it's awesome that you can actually run online 8K video 60 frames per second so smoothly. Let's see how long it takes to load. Not long at all. You can also hear a bit of the sound. As you can see, it's pretty loud. Okay, I guess it's enough. Okay guys, so let's get to the part that a lot of you were waiting for. I'll be using fraps to monitor the frames, frame rate. Okay, now uh, let's start with the Mongas. This one should not be that much resource consuming as you can see, it goes pretty smoothly. <laughs> A very high frame rate here <laughs> in the corner. Uh, yeah, okay, I understand. I'm actually not gonna uh, play much, I'm just gonna. Uh, check a bit because I don't want to waste time in a game so yeah I'm just gonna show you the um, quirks and I think it's maxed at 30 frames per second I don't know if it's something from the settings or whatnot speaking of settings let's see what do we have general graphics resolution it's capped I guess Full screen on, V-Sync off. Okay, not sure if I should try with V-Sync on too. Apply, let's see if any any difference. Well, yeah, it seems it's 60 frames per second now. But again, I don't see any lag or anything. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm not gonna spend more time for on a game like Among Us for now. Okay, so let's quit the game. You know, I wanted to show you a bit of Star Wars here, probably, but I got a bit disappointed because uh, it seems my old account that I haven't used for some years, uh, I don't know, was downgraded. They got stripped of most of my characters and also the characters were pretty much nerfed I don't know they were max level and now they are only 20 so I don't know I might have to talk to the um, support or something I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them back though okay so let's um, play a bit of counter-strike global offense because I guess a lot of you guys might be interested in a CSGO. Let's see. Some settings. This is the default settings that are, they are coming. The game with, I don't know, I think it's a medium or something. Anyway. I actually wanted to mute the audio also so you can hear how the fan is working. Basically, I think you can hear it now. I think this is like the maximum sound of the fan. It's not too loud in my opinion. Quite acceptable. Anyway. Let's put it back here. Okay. And let's play some games. I know why the fraps is not working in this, but maybe inside the game is gonna is gonna work. So let's see. Uh, 
Okay guys, let's uh, play some CSGO. I'm just gonna make a practice run because you'll laugh if you see how bad I am. <laughs> okay, let's play some dust too. <laughs> I still don't know why Freps is not working. I wish I could see some frames per second here in the corner, but seems something is not working. Anyway, I'm just gonna let you see the footage and decide for yourself if it's smooth enough or not. Okay. I'm not gonna play for too long, just a bit. For you to see how smooth it is and the graphics quality, if it's visible. Oops. Okay, let's plant the bomb. And if we succeed, I'm gonna close this also. I hope you enjoy. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this. I'm not gonna play more because I don't think it's relevant, especially if that like we cannot see the um, frames per second. Okay. Okay, guys. So I wanted to show you another game. I don't know if you heard about it, but uh, I think it's uh, a very nice game, artistic, and I recommend it to everyone. So let me show you. It's called Greece. In my opinion, it's a very beautiful game. Seems Fraps started working again. Not only the visuals for this game is beautiful, but it also the sound. Let me see if I can put the volume up because I think you cannot hear it, hear it like this. So let's just put it like this. Start the new game. I'm not gonna give you too many spoilers, but I just wanted to see this a bit. So in case you stumble over this game, play it. I think I'm gonna skip this intro. I don't know if the song is not licensed and I don't want to get a strike for the song. Okay, guys, 
I'm back. I just put the sound volume a bit lower, hopefully it's not gonna be a problem. I just want you to see that this kind of game is actually always gonna be working at the maximum frames per second limit. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. And don't worry, it's not gonna be this slow pace till the end. But I just want you to experience, to experience this amazing game on your own. I hope the visuals are clear. See? Now we can run and jump. Yeah, so when you want to play a nice relaxing game, this is one of the best ones. It's a platformer. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna leave it here. Thank you for staying with me. So this is it, guys, for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments about uh, your opinion on this laptop and if you have anything else that you want to ask, if you want me to, take, to talk about um, anything that I did not cover here, just uh, let me know. Cheers everyone!